throwing now. Roethlisberger on first down. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And that's caught inside the 30. And all the way down to the 24-yard line. It's a big-time play there for the Bears. 51 yards. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Naeem Hines, his first carry. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. That catch good for five. It's third down. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. In need of a conversion on third down. They had the big play to start the drive. Not much sense. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. That's going to be caught. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I'd have to say that whenever you see a good post route run, they do not like to let it end without the catch. Hence, that great diving play. Yeah, lay it up there, let him go get it, and he got it. And continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On first and 10, it's Roethlisberger. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Four yards on the pickup, and it'll make it a second down. Brandon, more and more offenses are going to the philosophy of using every inch of the field to try and spread things out. And when you're running back and catch the ball as well, that can only help your offense. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. They'll run it now out of the gun. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. The completion on first didn't get much, and now the run on second doesn't get a whole lot either. Well, if you're a good play caller, you've already looked ahead and anticipated this type of situation, already down in his play sheet, trying to dial up, up a big third down play. 59, what's up? Snickers! Snickers! Whoa! Snickers, you got to spin! From the gun on third down, it's Roethlisberger. And this is Gabriel on the catch. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis back with you as it's Bears football here to begin quarter number two. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They'll indeed go for it with Roethlisberger. And this is caught. He hits more. And oh, he caught it up. And this is picked up by the Browns. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. 
And the aggressive play call simply does not work out. You're on your own side of the field here. Punt. Roethlisberger coming up with a first and ten. And he's a perfect six for six here to start the ball game. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And able to get it here to about the 16-yard line. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll make it second down. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Oh, free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. And when he comes at the quarterback, he'd better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. Black 20. Gotta go. On third down, Roethlisberger. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football. Two-yard punt, not too shabby. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now Roethlisberger to throw on second down. Throw left side complete. It's Hines. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. Now Roethlisberger on first down. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Roethlisberger now nearly perfect. 9 of 10 in this first half. It's first and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Second down, Roethlisberger. He's going to air one out. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Even without a ton of pressure in his face, it just shows how difficult it is to pick apart his own defense. Those guys are sitting back, and they're not playing receivers as much as they're playing the eyes of the quarterback and when he delivers the ball. The Bears on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third down and 12. Four down, four down. Check. Black, it's on. Snickers. 
66. To throw here, Roethlisberger. Finding Gabriel complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A good pick up there, a 22. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. On first down, it's Roethlisberger. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he gets it down to the 32. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll bring up second down. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really, they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. Roethlisberger. Open man, Smith-Schuster, it's complete. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. Roethlisberger coming up with a first and 10, and he's 5 for 6 now throwing the ball on this drive. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Tackle made there by Miles Garrett. On second down, here's Roethlisberger. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. Trey Burton, the one he was looking for, and it's third down. The Bears on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and ten. Single, single, slot, slot. Go. Eight, 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 eight. Monday. One and one. Now Roethlisberger. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. DJ Moore in the final seconds of the first half. And the Just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. They'll throw on first down with Roethlisberger. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. Let's go, let's go, An incomplete go. pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Here's Roethlisberger. 
Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Hines. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 23 yards on the play. You know, when I see passes like that, I'm reminded of something you and I talked about yesterday. Big Ben was a wide receiver the first three years of high school, sitting behind the coach's son, and then he finally got that opportunity. I think he's made the most of it. It's always the coach's son, isn't it? But you know where it helps him? When he looks downfield, he knows what the receivers are going to do. He actually has wide receivers' eyes when he's throwing the ball. Now it's Roethlisberger fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. Now that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. Ben to throw again. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. The Bears on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This time they face a third and two. Again, it's Roethlisberger. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Just a gain of a couple, but good enough to keep the drive rolling. Roethlisberger now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. To throw again is Roethlisberger. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. In the pocket, chucked it away, flag comes down. So you got to move a little bit, right? Know where you are on the field, have some awareness. Tackle to tackle. You got to get outside of that tackle box in order to get that done. Throwing again, it's Roethlisberger. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. It'll be a gain of six, and it's going to be third down and a ways to go here. Third and 14. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. It's a gain of five, and that'll bring up fourth down. Now, the way you're thinking, because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. The gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. And he's got a man in the crossing route. That's more. And all the way down to the 35. A huge play there for Chicago. And even 40 yards. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. Four down, four down. Focus, focus. They snap it at one. Now it's Roethlisberger. Over the middle. Hauled in by Smith-Schuster. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. From the red zone now, here's Roethlisberger on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understanding just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays, 
Makes me glad I didn't make it in that league. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Yeah, and that's fun, isn't it? And what a really nice gain right there on first down for them. Brings up a nice second down for them. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Now it's Hines. And he'll be brought down this time. At the this is first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. And give him five that time as they draw a bit closer here for a second and goal. Through them or around them to get into the face of the pass. Easier said than done, though. Way easier <laughs> said than done. But they've got to try something because right now they're just cutting them to shreds. Snickers, you got to spin. Throwing now, Roethlisberger on first down. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, and just, they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Go. On first and ten, it's Roethlisberger. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Show that bench release and go. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. Looking left side, Andrews with it complete. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. The reception good for seven. It's third down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. The Bears on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. Here it's third and three. Jack 16. Eight, 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 eight. What we got? What we got? Out of the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And he's got his target, that's more. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Now Roethlisberger on first down. And that's incomplete. E.J. Gaines the one that time to knock it away. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down, the offense or the defense? Let's face it, if you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They tried to throw for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Second and 10 now from the 27. Again on second and ten, it's Roethlisberger. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying no more. We're speaking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. 
to throw here, Roethlisberger. And that's incomplete. Before the game, they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined. But sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it. When you're running the route tree in pregame, After the interception, here's Roethlisberger. Blitz coming and down he goes. Joe Schobert, tough to handle on that blitz. He gets him for a loss of five. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. Here's Roethlisberger. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Nick Perry in there to get him for sack number nine now on the year. Elsewhere, they're into the fourth at Lucas Oil Stadium in Indianapolis. And the Colts have opened it up a bit, leading by two scores. And if they could hold on to that lead, it would be win number four on the season for them. Here's Roethlisberger. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. A crazy sequence here. A huge gain that time, but it still leaves him well short for fourth down. And now a timeout called defensively by the Browns. It's just their first. Scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point the kicker. Exactly. <laughs> you put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> toe bash. I don't know about toe that. Bashed it. <laughs> Super toe. Yeah, <baby. laughs> They stay on the ground again. It's Hines. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. That'll be a gain of 16. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. They run again with Hines. And he'll get this up to about the 38 yard line. Desmond King making the tackle. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Here's Hines. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line.